it. So, I'm up very early for me. I'm not a morning person. But we're still in the process of moving. And one of the things that needed to be done was to pick up my pet pig um, from the previous property. My sister was looking after her because she's still living there at the moment. But I couldn't really set up a new area until I had all the stuff from her last area. Like, star pickets are now like $10, that's kind of the cheapest. So, we've bought everything from her previous place. Um, so, she stayed in the little pen last night, and then this morning she'll get let out into her new little area. So, I'm up doing that. I'm really not a morning person. I really don't like being up this early, but I didn't want her sitting in here longer than she had to and I also probably need the help getting her out because she's a bit a bit funny about moving around and moving into a small, not small pen area, but going from being out on the grass and then moving into there. I think she's going to be a bit funny about it, so we'll see. In hindsight, I wish I'd really recorded trying to get her into the pen that she had to go into to come out here because it was so funny it was so bad she just wouldn't she just wouldn't go in and she's such a friendly pig so she'd keep coming back and then when we try to put her in she'd start darting the other way it was really funny <laughs> it wasn't really funny at the time but it's funny now that's <laughs> so i don't know if you can see my pig but she managed to get out of her pen and made it to the neighbor's yard which thankfully they've had a pet pig so they were happily containing her and said if they could they'd keep her so thankfully she found someone like that and not one of the farmers that said she'd be good on a spit rose hey man and somehow we managed to get her into the back of my subaru even though even though getting her into the trailer was a bloody nightmare but she's pretty happy she's got her she's made an absolute mess at the back of my car but she's got some food she's had food all day she's had pats and loves and cuddles and got to run around someone's yard hey So we will be doing some fence patching. So I'm not usually someone who records things really ever. I take lots of photos, um, but I've never really recorded anything. So it's been interesting trying to remember to actually do that while I'm getting tasks done, like I did a bunch in the garden and I was like, oh, I didn't even get a photo or anything before I did all that work. But hopefully I get into the habit of remembering so I can see how far it's come and how much we're achieving in such a small space of time. Otherwise I feel like nothing's really being done so it's good to have the, the photo proof that I've actually achieved some things. Loki loves going into these paddocks. <clears throat> Don't you Lokes? Come on, get out of there. Could be snakes. So we're going to try and fix Daisy's pen today. Gonna run barbed wire along the bottom edge of it to stop her from trying to snout underneath it. This is not something we needed to do at our previous property. She got out twice the first night we got her and she never did again. Um, she was quite happy. Um, but I think now that she's had hugs and pats and food and some love from the neighbors, she'll probably think that's a pretty cool place to go when I'm not here. So I'm gonna have to make sure the cage is a lot more secure than it used to have to be. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna put in more tent pegs, tent pegs. My dad's just the tent pegs. I'm thinking I'm just going to do um, some more T-posts um, in those areas just to stop her pulling the fence up. But I think the barbed wire itself should be enough. But given that our property is only barbed wire fenced and not pig proof, I'm going to do both um, so that there's no chance. Because if she gets out, I've got to go get her. So give that a go. Loki enjoys running around. We do actually have like quite a good wooded area behind our dam and it just has old farm stuff all through here. Hey Lex! Does anyone else feel like old farm stuff is just so fun to look at? Like a lot of it's completely unusable, I'm never going to do anything with it, it'll probably have to go to the tip at some point. But it's just kind of fun finding all the old farm equipment throughout here and it's always so pretty in this area so I found out where where Daisy got out from she got out from the bottom 
of the wire. Um, I hadn't secured it down well enough, I thought I had, but clearly not. She was able to kind of push it up and get herself under. So I do have an electric fence. I've decided to try and avoid using it. I'm going to, mainly because I want to use it for other animals, um, and she doesn't normally get out. I think once she learns, like, that's a safe place, she's going to get all her food there, she'll get all her treats there, all her toys there, and she learns not to dig under, then we should be fine. So I've got some barbed wire. I'm going to wrap that just on the bottom edge of um, the fence, just so if she tries to push her nose under it, it's obviously going to hurt. Um, so we're going to give that a go. She's very unhappy. I put her in a chook coop last night so that she couldn't get out again because <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't get her until, like, didn't get her home to like seven something at night so I didn't want to put her in and risk her getting out overnight if I couldn't see something well enough in the dark so I thought well she can go in there for the night she's not happy about it but we're gonna try try that and see if it works it won't be her forever space um, but for now while we're in the process of moving it was the easiest space to set up to get her here to get our other house ready for sale um, she does have protection from rain she has protection from the sun it's a cool spot it does get some afternoon shade from one of the big fig trees near it Loki's loving having her here she keeps running over I don't think he's quite worked out who she is because they usually are quite chill with each other but at the moment he's like what is that he doesn't really understand but anyway we're gonna give that a go So far what I've got done in the last, I think I posted a video like over 10 days ago, um, what we've gotten done this week is just a little bit more in the veggie garden. Um, I put in a big lot of Rio wire for beans to climb up. I put out a few more zucchini seedlings and I got rid of some of the other ones. They were already looking a little bit yellow and not looking too healthy when I put them in. So my other ones were looking much better. So I pulled out those ones and made space for the healthier looking ones. Um, otherwise I don't think really that much has happened here because we're still trying to fix up our other house um, to get that on the market so the only stuff I really get done here is very early in the morning while I'm getting all the animals done and having a coffee I try and get a little bit done before I head to the other house so there's not been a lot of things being happening so there hasn't really been much to record anyway but it'd still be nice if I remember to record something <laughs> there's like a little graveyard for old farm stuff but some of it's actually come in really handy but Loki enjoys kind of poking around now because anywhere I he's never seen a snake I don't think he'd react well to a snake I don't think he'd try and eat it I think he would try and chase it if anyone has any suggestions on how to get him not to do that feel free um, but I don't think the risk is worth him being like chained up towards the house or anything like that he enjoys running around um, so I let him run around a bit, but I always make sure he stays pretty close by. And if I'm up at the house, he doesn't leave far from the house anyway. But a snake could be anywhere. A snake could be close to the house. It could be near the chickens. And I don't think it's worth him being completely tied up all the time. I don't think that's the life he would want. So hopefully nothing ever comes of that and I don't regret that. But for the moment, he'll just stay unchained and he can run around as he pleases. So him there just enjoying himself it is such a beautiful morning out here this morning i was supposed to be at the other house by now but i'm going to do daisy's cage for a bit so at least i get to stay here for a bit and see this beautiful morning Just so pretty. <laughs> 